welcome to rainbow network media please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news thank you all for listening perhaps the eastern security network esn which was set up by the mazi namdekanu led indigenous people of biafra ipop as a measure to secure the southeast from kidnappers armed headsmen robbers and other criminal elements has come to stay with the people since its operatives has reportedly continued their training and operations though secretly despite the crackdown by the federal government security forces according to the report on sunday report says Despite attempt by the government to clamp down on their activities, members of the Eastern Security Network (ESN) are said to have intensified their training in their base along the Olu axis. The training was intensified after the recent skirmish between soldiers and the Eastern Security operatives. According to the correspondence gathered, that the most of these training sessions take place in the night away from the searchlight of security agents, though their operations are clandestine, they appear to be operating between the boundaries of Olu and Lilu in Anambra State. They are also said to be operating along areas of Olu main town. Mountains in Olu, Osu, Ihit, Ukwa, and Opuru Olu. These operations at Ubomiri in Mbaitoli and are said to be controlling the Uweri Olu road making it possible, impossible for security agents to operate along that axis. Indeed, the police appeared to have been helpless in, the, in this regard, as they have abandoned most of the major roads in the Olu axis for fear of attack by operatives of ESN. It was also gathered that residents of the area act as informants to the operatives against any advancing security agents. One thing about the operatives is that it is not possible to point out a particular location where they operate from. A resident of Olu, who simply gave his name as Chima, told our correspondent that anybody that talks about ESN is looked at suspiciously reprimanding our correspondent to be careful about his inquiries. He said, when you ask anybody about ESN, you are looked at suspiciously because the people of the area have come to embrace ESN as their own police. So when you ask this kind of question, it is presumed that you are either a security agent or they are informant, so I am advising you to be careful because ESN informants are everywhere, or you may even know if the person you are talking to is a member of ESN. The police public relations officer, Orlando Ikeoku, could not answer questions on this issue as he said it is a security matter, but one correspondent gathered that because of constant attack on personnel along the Olu Oweri Road, policemen dread patrolling Oweri Road. Police Oweri Road. A police source said that men of ESN target policemen for attack mainly to collect their guns. However, it was gathered that apart from the operation, operation search and flush, which the state government had set up. The government is tinkering with the idea of forming what is called Homeland Security Network. Indeed, a correspondent cited some vehicles at the government's house Oweri already branded for the job. In Anabra State, the presence of the continuous ESN is not quite pronounced. 
or noticeable, though it is quite existent, has seemingly continued to rise, to raise dust and generate concern among the populace. However, for now, nobody or, or no security report has incited the outfit concerning its training or operations anywhere in Anambra State. So guys, uh, what do you think concerning this ESN uh, everywhere? Or uh, people in that area really embrace it and they try to protect them wherever they go to. So guys, uh, what's your own thoughts concerning this news? Please drop by at the comment section. Let's know your views by uh, dropping your comments. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.